Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we are going to do a few things to the E36 M3. First one, we are going to fix the AC situation. Second, we are going to replace the bumper and also the nose panel right here. Then this piece right here that is cracked and bent, we are also replacing it. All of that is happening today, so let's start. DIY is not going to be like the way I do DIY before because I'm going to accomplish a lot and I want to do it in the shortest time so I'm going to kind of like fast forward a little bit whenever I show you things I'm not really going to show you everything and I'm really apologize already for that that's because you know I have a few things to do today and I really want to make sure I fix this because in the next two weeks I won't have time to work on the car the way I want to and I really want to fix this issue the AC thing because you know it's bothering me whenever I'm driving the car now to replace the AC system since I purchased the whole AC system what I'm gonna have to do is unplug this well first thing is pretty much to purge the old freon that is on the line I've done that already I went to a professional mechanic and then they purge that and you know remove that from the line so right now it is completely empty so I'm gonna have to remove these two right here remove the AC compressor remove the condenser that is hiding under these bolts and also remove the dryer that is right here let me put the light so you can see the dryer right there so those are all the components for the ac i have a brand new complete system that i purchased let me show that to you in the back here as you can see right here so these are this is good now because i don't know exactly what is wrong with my car i just don't have time to troubleshoot so i want to go ahead and replace the whole system so this is a whole new system i'm going to install that's the compressor right there once i install that i'm going to have to take it back to another shop for them to charge the ac and after that my ac situation should be fixed now since i'm working in there i said you know what it would be a great time to also replace the front right here so this thing that looks rusted the nose panel i'm replacing that the bumper itself i'm also going to replace that and these radiator support i'm also going to replace that now as again as you see in the back here i have all those pieces already that i purchased used now this one is not oem this is from OEM and from a silver car, as you can see, it's gonna look silver once I'm done. And then the nose panel is right here and it's also from a black car. All right, let's go ahead and start the process really quick. To make it easy on myself, I went ahead and removed the wheel because there's some bolts that I'm gonna have to access in this area right there. So I went ahead and removed the wheel just to help me. Now I'm gonna first remove the turn signal light. There's a little lever right here that you push to the side and you pull this out. Then I'm gonna remove the headlight, one, two, three. Then there's a bolt under there and then there's another bolt under there. You remove that, the headlight is out. After I remove the headlight, I'm gonna remove the bumper. To remove the bumper, you pop this panel right there. There are two bolts right here, 13 millimeter. You remove those. Then on this side, you pop this panel also. There are two bolts here. You remove those. You this you come on this side. There's another bolt right here hiding. And then two on the bottom here. You remove those. And then once you do that, you unplug the fog light. If you have the fog light, you unplug the headlight, you know, right there. And then you just simply pull the bumper the bumper is going to come off let me go ahead and do that and once I'm, i do that i'm going to go ahead and show you the process for the other stuff here's my progress i wanted to film earlier to show you how i remove the nose panel but my neighbor was cutting his grass it was super loud and you guys would not hear anything but pretty much to remove the nose panel there are two bolts under here that you have to remove there are two bolts on this side that you have to remove these two also same on the other side and then the nose panel is off all right, so now pretty much what I'm trying to do right now is to remove this radiator support. And once I'm going to remove that, I will easily have access to, you know, the AC compressor down there and then remove that easily, swap everything, then mount the new piece. As you can see, I'm stacking everything as I'm removing right there so that it's easy for me to put back in the car. So let me go ahead and continue the process really quick. I am close to being done. I've replaced the AC lines. But one line here on the AC compressor was a pain to remove. So I think I have stripped it when I was putting it back. So I'm not sure, but so far when I look at it, it act like it wants to shake a little bit, but I'm not sure if it is tight enough. Whenever I put AC, I will see if it leaks. If it leaks, then I will means that I will need another AC compressor because that is stripped inside the AC 
uh, compressor thing. But on the front here, you can see that I've replaced this already. I've replaced the condenser. I've placed my new auxiliary fan. I put the new nose panel. I'm almost there, man. Almost there, almost there. And there are some pieces that I'm not going to put back because, I mean, for me, they are useless. Like these plastic things right here. That was the old AC thing right here. So now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put back. I'm going to put the factory bumper because I want to first see how the fitment goes with the fog light and everything. Then another day I'm going to go ahead and put that um, that new bumper that I'm going to put there because these bumpers usually don't fit too well. And I've spent so many time already on this project, so I want to go ahead and make sure that I, I'm, you know, I have it somewhat completed. So I'm going to put this bumper back, but I'm going to put the fog light here and then right now let me actually go ahead and put the headlight in here and yeah so far man it looks much better you can see a new grill a new uh, nose panel everything man I'm coming a long way coming a long way all right let's go ahead and continue the project all right guys i am done here as you can see i have the old bumper installed here i have a new nose panel new grill everything is installed i turn on the engine and I didn't have any light regarding all of the area that I was working. So, um, looks good, man. Definitely looks better. And I cannot wait to install the other bumper right there. Technically, I was supposed to install it today, but because I have things to do and I just have to, I just put this runner to kind of gain some time. But probably tomorrow I will come back and remove this bumper or another day, remove this bumper, transfer everything that needs to go to the new one, put the fog light and then call it a day. As you can see, this is it looks much 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 better although i have this uh, silver white thing right there kind of gives a little character right mounted the wheels this area is a little concerning because remember this side was impacted before i purchased it it had an accident somewhere here so it's never perfectly aligned here but as you can see everything is good so let me go ahead and put the car back and kind of take it on a test drive these are all the old parts right here that i'm not going to use i probably trash them or if someone needs it uh, im me i can give it to you for free yeah man on this note um this was a very awkward video because it's not normally the way i do videos i just wanted to make sure i do this quickly it's almost 4 p.m i started at what 10 a.m and yeah i took a lot of time because again as you know this place always have some kind of seize ball that i have to fight with that's how um i wasted some time on things like that but right now everything looks good the car looks way better i just have to find a way to address this area right here probably kick this inside i'm not sure but i'll figure it out yeah man thank you for watching and then uh, see you on the next video bye